paano nga ba mag-apply ng SSS Salary Loan through online. Pero bago yan, alamin muna natin kung ano nga ba ang SSS Salary Loan. So, ang SSS Salary Loan daw ay cash loan granted by SSS to unemployed, currently paying self-employed or voluntary member. Sino-sino nga ba ang qualified para mag-apply for SSS loan? So, una, dapat ikaw ay current employed, current contributing self-employed, or voluntary member. Kung one-month loan ang iyong ia-avail, dapat meron kang 36 posted monthly contributions and dapat yung last 6 months of these contributions should be posted within the last 12 months prior to the month of filing of application. For example, December 2020 ka nag-apply ng SSS loan through online. So, dapat from January 2020 hanggang December 2020, meron kang at least 6 months posted contribution para ma-qualify ka sa pag-avail ng salary loan. Kung ikaw naman po ay mag-avail ng 2-month loan, Dapat meron kang 72 posted monthly contributions and last 6 months of these contributions should also be within the last 12 months prior to the month of filing of application. Pangalawa, dapat ang employer mo kung employed ka ay updated ang payment ng iyong contribution. Pangatlo, dapat ang member of borrower na mag avail ng loan ay hindi pa dapat nakakatanggap ng anumang final benefit such as total permanent disability, retirement, or debt. Pang-apat, the member borrower must be under 60 years of age at the time of application. So, let's go now to the filing procedure online. So, una, pumunta ka muna sa Google. I-type ang www.sss.gov.ph I-tick lang ang I'm not a robot and then click submit. I-click ang member. Mag-login using your user ID, password, itig lang ang I'm not a robot, and then click submit. Under e-services tab, i-click lang ang apply for salary loan. Nakakapag-proceed ka lang ng iyong loan application kung meron ka ng isa sa mga ito. Bank account, peso participating bank, wallet, ITCP, CPO, or issued UBP Quick Card by SSS. So, kung meron ka ng isa sa mga ito, i-click lang ang here para maglagay ng mga necessary details para makapag-proceed sa application. Kinakailangan mo rin basahin ng mabuti ang mga reminders dahil makakatulong ito sa smooth na process sa pag apply ng SSS loan. Once done mo na basahin, i-click lang yung I certify that I have read and understood the foregoing reminders on account enrollment, and then click proceed. Dito sa disbursement account enrollment module, makikita mo na may option ka for bank or e-wallet, RTC, CPO. So alin man ang piliin mo sa mga yan, kinakailangan mong i-type or piliin kung ano yung participant, bank, or e-wallet name. After makapagpili, itatype mo lang yung account number kung bank ang napili mo and mobile number kung e-wallet naman ang pipiliin mong gamitin. So, confirm disbursement account number, i-retype mo lang kung ano yung itinilagay mo sa disbursement account number. Attach supporting documents, Pag in-click niyo select document type, lalabas dyan yung mga pwede mong i-upload as supporting document. So, once nakapili ka na, i-upload mo naman siya, i-click mo lang yung choose file. Reminder lang na kung mag apply ka ng or mag upload ka ng file, hindi siya dapat 
bababa o hindi siya dapat tataas sa 1 MB. Dapat ang format po ay JPEG or PDF format. So, tip lamang kung mag-upload kayo ng image or photo, better na i-crop nyo muna yung image or i-snip ninyo bago nyo i-upload. Kasi kung gagawin nyo yan, mas bababa pa po ang size ng inyong i-upload na file. Basahin po ang I certified that the bank account details mobile number I have provided above is true and correct to the best of my knowledge. I confirm that the owner of the valid and active bank account that I furnished. I further understand that in the event that the said bank account details mobile number turns out to be false or incorrect, I shall suffer the loss solely and thereby exempt the SSS its officials and employees from any liability, suit, or legal action of whatever kind and nature. So, once nakapag-agree ka sa ganit, nabasa mo, i-click mo lang ang box or itik mo yung box and then, click the enrollment disbursement account. So, magbibigay ako na example for bank application and for the e-wallet application. So, sa bank muna tayo. So, kung ang pipiliin mo ay bank, click mo lang itong bank. And then, kapag pinindot mo yung select bank, lalabas dyan yung mga qualified na bank na pwede natin gamitin para sa pag-enroll ng disbursement account. Once nakapili ka na, i-click mo lang yung bank account number at itatype mo dyan kung ano yung 13 digits account number. Sa confirm bank account number, i-retype mo lang. And then, sa attach supporting documents, kung bank ang gagamitin, ang mga pwede mong maging supporting documents sa ATM card with account number and name, bank certificate statement, foreign remittance receipt, passbook, screenshot of online mobile banking account, or validated deposit slip. For ATM card with account number and name, make sure na yung i-upload ninyo na file or account card ng image ay nandoon yung mismong buong pangalan nyo at yung account number. Take note na double check yung account number kasi maraming nalilito sa account number at card number. Sa so, account number po ay dapat 13 digits lang po yung nakalagay sa card nyo. Kapag sumobra, pa, kapag sumobra na po doon, yun po ay card number. And kapag ganun po, hindi nyo na pwede yung gamitin as supporting documents. So, pwede na po kayong lumipat sa pangalawang option, which is bank certificate or bank statement. So, nakukuha po ito sa banko kung saan nakaregister yung bank account ninyo. May bayad nga lang po siya, and nakadepende kung magkano kung saan banko kayo kukuha. Pwede rin foreign remittance receipt, passbook, screenshot ng inyong online account, or validated space slip. Basta isa lamang po sa mga ayan ang kinakailangan. So, kapag na-provide nyo na po yung isang document or isang supporting documents, i-click lang po yung I agree and then click Enroll Disbursement Account. For the e-wallet, RTC, CPO account naman, pwede nyo pong i-click ang e-wallet and then choose the personal participant name. So, pwede po natin gamitin ang DBB Cash Padala through MLO Willier, DC Pay Philippines, GCAS, or Paymaya Incorporated. Usually naman po, ang details po nito ay contact number. So, lagay lang po dito sa mobile number ang inyong account number na nakaregister sa e-wallet na gagamitin ninyo. Confirm mobile number, i-retype lang po yung mobile number. And then, sa pag-attach ng documents, make sure po na yung file name ng i-attach na documents ay hindi naka-alpanumeric. Just file. And then, once successfully attached the file, click lang po yung I agree that the information collected through this form shall be used and retained by SSS for the processing of benefits, claim, and loans. And then, click the enrollment disbursement account. And then, makaka-receive ka ng notification, may magpa-pop up na your mobile number will be submitted to SSS. Do you want to continue? Click lang po ang OK. Once na-click na yung OK, 
Lalabas na yung notification that you have successfully enrolled your bank account details or mobile number to SSS and included dito yung date and oras kung kailan ka nag-apply and also the transaction number. Sa bandang baba, makikita mo yung summary ng iyong application, kung ano yung PesoNet or wallet or account number na ginamit mo and kung ano yung status ng iyong application. Makaka-receive ka rin ng email from SSS for the confirmation of the disbursement account enrollment. Nakalagay dyan that you have enrolled your disbursement account. Please take note of your transaction details below including the transaction number, date and time of enrollment. Nakalagay din dyan na you will be receiving another email for the status of your application. So, take note lang natin na yung application for yung approval ni SSS for the disbursement account enrollment will take around 3 to 4 weeks bago ma-approve. So, makikita nyo naman po ang status na ito sa inyong SSS online account. So, once nakita nyo na po na approve na ni SSS yung inyong disbursement account, pwede na po kayo mag-proceed sa inyong application. Pupunta lang kayo ulit sa e-services tab. I-click lang yung Apply for Salary Loan. Ang kinakailangan lamang po na filled para inyong i-filled out ay loanable amount at certifying employer. So for example, ang maximum loanable amount na ipinigay sa inyo ni SSS ay 40000 May option po kayo na mas mababa pa doon ang kunin nyo na loan. So pwede kayong kumuha ng loan for 39000 and below. So option nyo po ito. Pipiliin nyo lang po yung amount and then dun sa choose bank, nakalagay na po yan kung ano yung bank since meron na po kayong enrolled bank account. Sa certifying employer, ilalagay nyo lang po ang employer ID, employer at employer's branch location. Pero dun sa mga mag apply na naka-self-employed or voluntary contribution, kinagawa, automatic na wala kayong makikita sa field na ito. So, once okay na, sa Terms and Conditions for Salary Loan, nakalagay dito ang eligibility requirements, filing of application, loanable amount, payment term and schedule of payment, interest and penalty, responsibilities of the employer, responsibilities of member borrower, deduction of unpaid loan from benefits, and other conditions. Once tapos manabasahin ang reminders at ang terms and condition, itik mo lang yung box and then click proceed. Masa-generate mo yung disclosure statement on loan or credit transactions. Dito makikita mo ang yung net proceeds at yung month kung kailan ka magsa-start and kailan ka matatapos magbayad ng iyong loan. So kung mapapansin mo dito, makikita mo dito na 39,000 lang ang makukuha ni employee sa kanyang loan. Pero ang approved loan amount niya is 40,000. Dahil ibinawas na ni SSS ang service fee na 1% of loan amount, advance interest. And ibabawas din nga pala ni SSS ang current balance mo sa iyong previous loan. Kaya hindi mo buo makukuha ang approved loan amount mo automatically. Once nakita mo na siya, click mo lang yung proceed. But take note lang din as reference. I advise na isave nyo yung file na ito para meron kayong reference in the future para alam nyo kung kailan kayo magsisimula magbayad or kailan kayo matatapos. Makikita nyo na yung summary including the loanable amount, net proceeds, and the certification, agreement, and promissory note. So itong part na to ay kinakailangan yung basahin. Once na nabasa nyo na, click nyo lang yung submit. And then, magpapapap ang notification that Action will send the supply information to SSS. Do you want to continue? Click nyo lang yung OK. 
Once na-click mo na yung OK, mananotify ka that you successfully submitted your salary loan application to SSS. Nakalagay din dyan na dapat ma-certify ng iyong employer within 4 days from the date of application ng iyong application. Dahil kapag after 4 days hindi ito na-certify ng employer, may expire ito at madidecline na ang iyong application at kinakailangan mo mag-reapply ulit. So, once na certify na ni employer, maghihintay ka lamang ng 5 to 7 days for the crediting of the loan proceeds on your disbursement account. And that's it. Pwede mo nang ma-enjoy ang iyong SSS salary loan. And that would be the end of this presentation. Again, thank you so much for watching for this video tutorial. And I hope nakatulong ito sa mga nagbabalak mag-file ng kanilang SSS salary loan. You can use this as future reference as well. Sa may mga tanong or clarifications, pwede nyo pong i-comment sa comment back section ang inyong mga questions para masagot po natin isa-isa. So again, thank you so much and kung nagustuhan nyo ang video na ito, please like, share, and subscribe and click the notification bell para mas maging updated pa kayo para sa mga susunod ko na video tutorials. Thank you so much and have a good day ahead. Bye-bye!